Wings are the perfect part of the chicken. You've got the ideal ratio of skin. They kind of eat like dark meat because there's so much like juicy skin and all sorts of good stuff in there, but they actually cook more like white meat. And what that means is that they can dry out, especially if they're exposed to high heat for a long time. That's tricky because wings are small, so it really doesn't take very long for the heat to penetrate to the center. Here's what sous vide can do for you with wings. First of all, it's really easy and hands off. Drop the wings in your immersion circulator, run them for the time it takes, take them out, dry them off, fry them, you're done. Easy. All right, got my wings here. How are we gonna cook them sous vide? Well, first thing we're gonna do, it's really easy. I'm just gonna season them with salt. Flip them. If you're doing wings, you can use a vacuum sealer bag, but the cooking time is so short that I usually just revert to some gallon zipper lock bags. Load up a bag or two. If you're using zipper lock bags, what you wanna do is use what's called the displacement method to press the air out. So I have a vessel of water that hopefully won't overflow while I do this, but all I'm gonna do is push my bag down in there and then push, 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 and the water will create enough pressure to more or less get the air out. It's not a perfect vacuum seal, but it's fine. I'm doing this in cold water because my sous vide bath is already heated, and if I tried to do this with the hot water bath, I'd burn my hand. I know this because I've made that mistake before and burned my hand. So I got my immersion circulator set up. I have this one set to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, but what I've found with all my testing is you have really two roads you can choose that both will get you great, slightly different results. You can do 160 degrees Fahrenheit and cook the chicken for two hours in that bath to get wings that will end up fall off the bone tender. The bones just slide right out. Or you can do 165 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature I have going in this bath right now, and just cook the wings for one hour. That's gonna get you wings that are so juicy and also tender, not quite the same level of fall off the bone, and just a little bit more kind of springiness still to the meat. Choose your temperature, get your chicken set up, and just lower it right into your hot water bath. And depending on the temperature you've chosen, you'll let it go for one or two hours. So once they're done, you wanna take them out, arrange them on a wire rack, and dry them in the refrigerator overnight or eight hours. Get them nice and ready for the fryer. And as it just so happens, I've already done that and I have a batch ready to go. Let me get them. All right, I got my frying station set up. I have my wings. They have been dried overnight in the fridge on this rack here, uncovered, just to get excess liquid off so that they fry up nice and crisp. Let's do it. Let's get some frying going on. My oil is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we go. Now we'll see how much the oil rises up, I may be able to get more wings in subsequent batches, but I don't want to overflow my pot because I've made that mistake once before and it was scary. Ah. Stand back. I'm just gonna fry them till they're golden and crispy, which ballpark at this temperature is gonna be about three minutes. But you know, you just go by what it looks like. Because I've done the sous vide, these wings are already cooked. It's really just a matter of getting them crispy. That's, that's all I'm trying to do here. Crispy and warm to the center. I'm doing buffalo wings to demonstrate the process right here. So I've got my little saucepan of Frank's Red Hot with some butter melting into it. That's all the sauce is. I'll serve it with some celery sticks and the blue cheese dressing. All right, here we go. Let's take out our first group. Get them onto the paper towels to drain the excess oil. In we go. Stand back. I'm gonna taste just one of these right now. It came out of the fryer. The skin is light and crispy. Let's try a wing it. Looking pretty good. Mmm. Let's sauce these babies. Give them a good stir. Get my celery sticks. I got more. Mount Wing. Mount Wing is right. This is the most obscene pile. But this is what, you know, it's party time or whatever, game day. Whoa. I'm here with my wall of wings. <laughs> my, uh, Can you see me? 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> As you can see, I am here with my great wall of wings. They are ready to be eaten. I have cooked these sous vide, which is one really, really, really great way to cook chicken wings. Here we go. Let's give one of these wings a try. Wings are juicy. Formerly crispity and crunchity before they got doused in the sauce. I don't honestly want anything to do with the drumettes. I would just want the wingette. Sous vide wings, they come out good. You know, it's just another tool in your toolbox. It's just another option you have when you're deciding how you wanna go about cooking your wings. And it gives really good results. <laughs>